To start with, you can show how easy it is to install the EVM Engage system. So you take your mounting template and you peel the strips off the back of the adhesive. There's also some magnets on the back of the template, so when you place it on the board, it'll just stay there, which is nice for alignment. Uh, so I can slide this around, and you wanna make sure you have two inches at least between the projection and the template. And once I have that aligned, I can even you know, take a step back, make sure it's nice and straight. And when I'm finally ready, all I have to do is press down on the mounting brackets and pull down on the template and remove it from the board uh, press firmly once more, and you're ready to put on the Engage system. You want to look at the back of the unit and identify the four slots and align them with the four pegs that are on the board. Um, so right on the mounting brackets, and once you have all four places aligned, push down on the unit and wait for a click, and then our system is securely locked to the board. So we've also included a mini wireless keyboard. Uh, if you're working on a magnetic board, there's actually magnets in the, in the back of the keyboard. So you can place that anywhere on the board, uh, outside the projection area. Or if you're working on a non-magnetic board, we have a mounting plate that you can stick to the wall and then you can put the keyboard anywhere. Um, now it's good to make sure that the keyboard works right away. If you ever encounter any problems, then you can also repair this unit, maybe there's been a mix-up or something, by press and holding on the power button and waiting for it to flash. So now my light is flashing and I can just simply make sure the unit is on and then press and hold the RF button at the bottom of the keyboard and wait until it stopped flashing and then I can see that I've been paired and the keyboard will work just fine. To remove the system from the board, use the e-beam key provided with the system. Simply slide it in the top and wait for a clip. Then, slide the system upwards and pull it away from the board. If you need to remove the mounting brackets, pull downwards on the 3M strip and make sure to hold the bracket in place 